Hey, what's up everyone? It's Bobby. Today I'm going to be showing you guys an amazing app. It's an app that will keep your Mac, hence the name Mac Keeper. Now, this application is an all-in-one Mac utility application. It does everything. It uh, basically is an all-in-one app. It has everything from cache cleaners, binary cutters, language cutters, duplicate finders, old file finders, log cleaners. It has multiple standalone tools such as undelete, data encryptors, wise uninstallers, shredders, disk usage, a backup utility. It does everything and it does it for an amazing price. I believe uh, MacKeeper costs only forty dollars forty dollars and if you were to buy an application uh, a single application the best application um, for each one of these different categories uh, separately you'd be paying three hundred and eighteen dollars and this uh, application will get you all of these services along with a great online customer support uh, because this application does so much it may be hard to figure out how to use it that's why they have a this perfect little part right here we can live chat figure out what you're doing wrong you can call a representative uh, they have people waiting 24 7 to help you with this application and make sure that um, your computer is totally clean and up to date it's great I highly highly recommend you guys go check this out um, and I'm gonna be giving you guys my review of it so stay tuned Alright, so like I mentioned earlier, MacKeeper does tons and tons of things. Now there's way too many different features for me to go through and walk you through each different one. But um, I'm just going to walk you guys through the interface and kind of show you what's good with this application. And uh, hopefully you guys will be convinced and go check it out. So the first uh, thing you'll notice is it looks very similar to Finder. You have all your different categories on the left hand side and you have basically the process that's going on in the middle of the application. So the first one right up here is the status of your computer. It tells you uh, how much it's cleaned of your computer. It tells you if you have the anti-theft system installed, zero disk, geek on demand. I haven't really done, messed around with this that much. But apparently there's an anti-theft warning that um, I think I'm going to go and install because that sounds like a good idea, just the name of it. But uh, right here, it has great tutorials in every single section. They'll have video tutorials showing you how to use each different individual feature. And this was very helpful to me the first time I used this because when I first, uh, the reason it took me so long to review this application is because I just simply didn't know how to use it. It was really difficult. Um, to try and figure it out on your own. That's why they're trying to make it as easy as humanly possible by having all this customer support, all these video uh, guides and tutorials. Very awesome. So the next one is one click scan. Now this is a really cool feature. Um, I definitely did use this. You click on this little button and you see all these other little cleaners right here on the left hand side start going to town finding things that they can binary cut. Um, lots and lots of different options. Uh, I already went through and I messed around with most of this so I'm just gonna go to the, this next section before um, I go any farther. So now we are in binary cutters. What this will do is it'll go through and um, for those of you who didn't know all Macs uh, when you download an application it comes with two different versions one for PowerPC and one for Intel chips and this binary cutter will figure out what your computer has. Mine, for example, has an Intel chip and it will delete all of the uh, PowerPC halves of all my applications. So essentially cutting down the hard drive space of all my applications in half, which is great. It saves hard drive space if you have a small hard drive. Um, this will definitely be very crucial for you. So that on its own almost makes it worth the price and it does way, way more. So the next thing is the cache cleaner. This will just simply clean your cache. You just go through, it'll find what um, needs to be removed. You click remove, it does it very quickly. You can uncheck things. Say you want to check something, you can quick look it. Uh, it's very, very well laid out, very well done. Um, this next one is the duplicate finder. Now I'm not going to go too deep into this, but basically what the duplicate finder will do is it goes through and it finds all the duplicate files on your hard drive and it will give you the option to delete one of them. So really neat. This next one is the language cutter. So again, for those of you who don't know, um, all Mac applications come with the application in English, which is the language that you're most likely using if you're watching this video. And it also comes with tons and tons and tons of different languages. 
um, along with, I think, I believe all, all the native Mac applications and on your hard drive, it has lots of different languages. You can go through and delete all the ones you don't want. I decided to keep Italian and Spanish because I do speak a little bit of both of those. So I decided to keep those two, but um, you do have the option to delete all of them, select which ones you want to keep, which ones you want to delete, stuff along the lines of that. So the next one is the logs cleaner. Now, I'm not sure exactly what this does, but if you want to figure it out, there's a video tutorial, so you can go check this out. Now, this is the old file finder right here. You click on that. I'm not going to show you guys what I have in there, but it's the old file finder, and it just basically shows you all the files that you haven't really touched or that were created a long time ago, and it gives you the option to delete it. I don't really like that because I want to keep all the files I have, but then again, if you have a smaller hard drive, uh, it might be a good idea to delete files that you never use and this application can tell whether you use it or not. So now down into the tools section, you it has a great backup client. Um, I haven't really messed around with this. I don't really know how to do it. But then again, if you look up right here, you can watch a tutorial and it will basically teach you how to use this. A data encryptor, you can, data, you can encrypt certain data with a password, verify it, have hints. Um, this is really neat. This is a default app uh, setter, if that's what you want to do. So say you're opening a PDF, you always want it to open with Preview for the Mac. Say you're opening a music file, you always want it to open with iTunes. This little feature right here will allow you to set what files are open with what applications. So this right here gives you um, a very in-depth uh, analysis of your disk usage. So for those of you who have used applications like Daisy Disk and... Um, I forgot what the other one is, but it kind of displays your hard drive and makes it look like a bunch of cubes. Uh, for those of you who know what I'm talking about, leave a comment below. But um, this basically gives you a less visual than Daisy Disk representation of your hard drive, but it does give you nonetheless a representation of your hard drive. So say you want to go through and your hard drive's getting cluttered and you want to figure out what's taking up so much space. Oh, downloads, 27 gigabytes. Oh, wow, need for speed. 5 gigabytes, I can just delete that, and there you have 5 gigabytes. Here's a package folder. Wow, that's 13 gigabytes. I'm going to need to delete that because it has a bunch of um, packages that I don't need anymore. So you guys get the point. You can go through and find stuff that uh, is taking up a lot of space and go ahead and delete it. So next, this is your login item. So this um, will decide what items open automatically when you turn on your computer or log in, and hence all these little menu um, icons I have up here. What those are are my login items, most of them at least, and you can choose which ones you want, delete them, add them, stuff like that. So this is the shredder. Now what the shredder will do is it will totally destroy any file you want. Very cool kind of visual representation. Um, you drag it in, it'll totally tear it up, no getting it back. Uh, if you have really kind of secure data that you don't want anyone to be able to fish through your hard drive and get back, this will do the job. Um, undelete, this will go onto any of your hard drives connected and allow you to delete um, or undelete anything that you might have deleted on accident. Not sure exactly how to do this, I haven't really messed around with it, but as you guys see right here, um, you can watch a tutorial. This one is the Wise Uninstaller, this will delete all the files from your, uh... oh cool, this will, sorry I haven't messed around with this part yet, this will delete all the um... So say you want to delete an application and you want to make sure you get all the little mini folders that come along with, with it, I'm sure this will do the job. If you don't know how to use it, go ahead and watch the tutorial or customer support. They make it very clear that it's super easy to get a hold of people if you don't know how to use this application, which almost makes it worth the $40 itself. So the next part is the anti-theft system. Haven't done that yet, but I plan on it, but I'm, I'm assuming it works well. Geek on Demand, you can sign up for an account and get on-demand uh, help with your thing and this thing called zero disk don't know exactly what that is apparently it's online storage but it's coming soon so you might want to go buy this application and you'll have access to that when it comes around so overall that has been my review of Mac Keeper I apologize to the people at Mac Keep uh, who allowed me to review this application for not uh, doing it earlier like I promised but like I said I was still learning how to use it and I had a lot going on but and the new iPhone came out and that just pushed the video back but it's up now so thank you guys at MacKeeper for allowing me to review this application thank you to all my viewers for watching this video please leave a comment down below what is your favorite Mac utility uh, application and if you have tried this what's your favorite feature uh, what's your least favorite feature the people at MacKeeper will be watching this so if you want to let them know anything leave a comment below give me a thumbs up 
and follow me on Twitter at Bobby93MapBoy, and I'll see every single one of you guys next time.